Who you texting there? Here. Huh? Who you texting with? My sister. I ain't talked to her in a couple of days. Good to see you. See you guys. What's up, my man? We're with the pink, huh? Dante? Yes, sir. What are you expecting this year? Same questions. Uh, talking about our recruiting, what we expect this year. So, same thing as last year. Not nothing big. Is it, what, what is this experience like? Is it exhausting or is it a lot of fun as it gets you hyped for the season? It's kind of the both. I mean, you kind of get tired of the same question, but at the same time, I mean, it's just, you know, the season getting closer, so you get ready for it. SID Kyle Campbell had, to, had at least 100 degrees on the airplane and, and the trip over. So give him, he, he takes blame for everything on Media Day. Welcome back to the Chris Barnett Show. We are at SEC Media Days and we are joined now by star wide receiver from the Old Miss Rebels. He is Dante Moncrief. He had 66 catches and 10 touchdowns last year. How are we doing? This is the last round. Y'all right? Good. Kyle is big time, man. He's got a sweet and everything. was coming in the first year under Free, just kind of talk about that, that first year under him and having great moments like playing LSU, A&M, and Bama, tough. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a couple of tough breaks, but just playing behind Coach Freeze and just following his energy and his enthusiasm, that's what got us going and made us able for us to compete with some of those teams week in and week out. What does football smell like to me? Yeah, they ask some crazy questions. You know, is that one that they're going to ask me? They'll ask you. That that probably will be one. Okay. They just, they just want whatever is the first thing that comes up. Okay. Hey, yeah. How you doing? Hey, I'm Carl. Go off. Hey, there you go. Have you been singing? The hottie talk. The hottie talk. You can do that one. Which, how's it go? Are you, Are you ready? ready? Are you ready? Hell yeah. Damn right. Hottie totty, gosh almighty, who the hell are we? Hey, flim flam, bim bam, old miss by now. <laughs> What's it like to play as an underdog? 
Oh, it's fun. Um, just because you know you, you know that uh, you have nothing to lose, you go out there with not a, a lot of expectations, so you can always lay it on the line. For you personally, what are what are your goals for this season? My goal is just to be better than what I was last year, because I know there's a lot of small things that I could work on, and I'll be more of a leader for my team and make big plays on my team. Either. What are you thinking about? Uh, pretty fun. A lot different than last year. About the same. Brother. It just go from people expecting us to lose, now they expecting us to win. Same thing, though. Not many uh, state questions. Nah, not like last year. <laughs> Me. Um, you know, I'm in the last two weeks of the rehab, so it's now it's throwing every day, building up for camp, getting ready. So, um, you know, I'm just excited to be competing again and, you know, not back there watching. Do you feel like there's more pressure on you now that you had that good season, better season last year? Just, just more teams to be expecting us to play good. But that's what we want. We don't want to be a team because they they overlooked you or they think about playing Alabama the next week. We want to be the team because they knew you were good. They gave it all. You gave it all. You just came out with the win. I'm gonna go off the cuff. What inspired this, this look? Dante Monkey just come with him last year and I had the, the, um, the regular blue suit and he had on all the colors. So now he, he uh, helped me pick this out this year to try to get me open up a little bit. <laughs> Who among those new guys that stood out to you in the summer work? Um, Laquan Treadwell looked really good. Uh, he's a big guy, big strong guy. Um, and uh, Quincy from uh, Dallas, Texas, he looked really good. He's very fast and his routes look like he's been in college already. So I expect him to make some big plays. Mike Mary said that you inspired this pink suit today. You think you're dressed better than him? Uh, Mike, Mike's trying to throw it off for me because he's a linebacker and he got on pink. That's all it is. He, he's trying to make it feel like uh, I did it for him. But Mike picked that out. Uh, it looked really good. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I think I can get in with the, uh, the suit. Though. And, uh, when I saw Mike, uh, he came to the house and he was like, how you like it? I was like, oh, man, you threw on a pink on me. Uh, so he's trying to blame it on me, but he know he picked that out himself. <laughs> You know, my whole town will probably be there. It's Tennessee. It's 45 minutes from where I live, so a very exciting. Uh, obviously, to get to kick off the college football season on Thursday night, on SEC game, one of our, the biggest games on our schedule, it's going to be a lot of fun. It sounds like just an unbelievable, uh, a lot of energy that weekend. To, and, and obviously, that's carried over into the fall. And now, this opening game against Vandy, you guys are going to be ready to bring it, huh? Yes, sir. Um, we were preparing every day, just trying to get better every day. Just doing whatever we can and just watching more film and offseason preparing. Obviously, easy to maintain focus when you open with a team like Vanderbilt in, in, on the road. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's going to be a big game, being a great team and they're even better at home. So we just got to come out and uh, do the small things right and uh, don't make a lot of mistakes. Does Coach Freeze have like a saying or quote or something he always says all uh, the time? He says dude all the time. And like, if you throw it out of bounds, like to say you're throwing it in the end zone, you throw it out of bounds, he's like, dude. What are you doing? Give him a chance, dude. So that's always my thing that I get him with. Do you guys ever count like how many dudes? Uh, no, I haven't counted. No. Have you called him out? Like, have you told them? Does he know? Is he aware that? He's no, I call dude? him out all the time for saying that for the dude stuff. Yeah, he's aware. What about dude? I hear he says that one a lot. Oh yeah, he, him and Bo stayed with the dude word. Oh my God, it's so funny. But at the same time, when he said to Bo, Bo know he need to tighten up when he say dude. So what does he say? What does coach say? Uh, Bo will mess up like on a pass and he'll be like, dude, are you serious? You can't make that throw? It's just some small things he always say to Bo and he'll get at Bo, but Bo will get better as they go and that's more as Coach Freeze get on to him. And what about dude? I hear he says the word dude a lot. Yeah, just after everything, just dude, this, dude, that, everything, there's always some kind of dude. Yeah, do you guys start counting like how many dudes? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. 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 Nah, maybe the offense does. Uh. <laughs> First of all, how do you feel? I feel good, um, you know, in the last parts of my rehab, so uh, excited to, to get out there and compete again. Now we were just sitting there talking about the momentum that this program has, not only from the recruiting standpoint, bowl win, by the end of the year you guys are absolutely rolling. Um, I know fans are excited going crazy that, man, oh, this football, we're on the roll, we're on the next How do you temper momentum like that, or do you? Or do you just say, hey, we're going for it, let's right. go. Well, I, you know, you, you feel good about the fans being excited about it, but um, you know, expectations, you know, I think that as a team, we kind of, we're going to control what we can in our building. Uh, we're not going to listen to any outside things. Um, you know, I think the, the expectations are kind of for the fans and the media to talk about. It's not for a football team to talk about.
Let me have that time, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like man, I'm drained, I'm tired, ready to go. Uh, that's all right, man. Just a lot of the same questions that you got answered, so. You here now, so might as well have fun with it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Best pregame, Ole Miss, Walker Champions, because she says so. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We're jumping in. We're doing it quick. That's how we do it. Get it out. Ladies, while, you you're at, while you're at the podium, yes. button the top button or no? You're standing? Yeah, it fits to go to the big press room. I would say the top button buttoned. Really? Let me see. You're standing. Should be at the podium. Most coaches, I don't know if they do or not. I can't tell. Where are you? How are you more comfortable? I like that right yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> I do. You know, do you more know how you're more comfortable because you're going to be self-conscious so about it. Hey, my man. What are you doing, man? I guess what the first question there was. You wear a visor because of Steve Spurrier. You're kidding. I said, absolutely. I do. I said, uh, Coach Spurrier's a good friend of mine. I like him a lot. That's why I wear a visor. That's right. That's visor coaches uh, pull for each that's other. That's exactly Since right. Since we don't play each other. That's right. All right, good, see you, good, see you. good luck to y'all. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Good afternoon. Go ahead. Good to see you again. You too. Hey coach, Tony Parnock, good to see you again. Good. Hey coach, good to Bob Beal, it's good to see you again. players with the best dress. What about That's what they voted on uh, Fox Sports. Are you must have dressed too. Oh, yes, of course, of course. I'm a stylist. Got to dress. You got to keep looking They nice. did. They voted it. Like Ole Miss, number one. No state. We hungry. I want a state. 